Well, we've got another launch today, and today it's Intel. So Intel officially launches its 11th generation Tiger Lake processors featuring the brand new CPU and GPU architectures from Intel. The Intel Tiger Lake CPUs are based on the company's latest 10 nanometer plus plus process note, which offers improved performance efficiency over its 10th gen Ice Lake processors. Now the Intel Tiger Lake CPUs will be branded under the 11th generation core family branding, and there have been several leaks regarding the family, but today is the day that Intel finally unveils it all for the public. So the Intel Tiger Lake 11th generation CPUs are focused on the mobility space and also adopt an entire brand new look and feel. There's a lot to talk about, so let's get started. So the Intel Tiger Lake CPUs are again based on the 10 nanometer plus plus process node and feature the company's latest Willow Cove cores. The Willow Cove core architecture is based on the same foundations as the last generation Sunny Cove architecture. Now it can be seen as a refinement of Sunny Cove in all ways possible, but at the same time, Willow Cove cores also feature a redesigned chipped hierarchy for faster performance throughput. Now the 10 nanometer plus plus process node is being termed by Intel as the 10 nanometer SuperFin transistor design. Now Intel claims that the SuperFin process delivers the same uplift performance as a proper node shrink. If you'd like to see more on that, we'll link the box up there somewhere. Just click on that if you want to get a little bit deeper into that. Now Intel stated that it had achieved around a 17 to 18 percent performance uplift over the standard 10 nanometer process node featured on the 10th gen generation of Ice Lake CPU chips while delivering much faster frequencies. Now that's a huge claim and one can only be tested when the actual CPU is in the hands of testers. But this is more or less to point out that Intel is confident that its 10 nanometer process will be able to match or exceed TSMC's 7 nanometer process node, which is being used by the competing AMD Ryzen 4000 Renoir series APUs. Now Intel will also be featuring their XE GPUs on the Tiger Lake chips, which would deliver a 2x increase in performance over the Gen 11 GPU featured in the current Ice Lake chips. Now the Intel XE GPU architecture will be featuring 96 execution units or 768 cores along with 3.8 megabytes of L3 cache. These are just a few of the tiny details that we know at the moment, but we can expect more to be presented by Raja himself on the 17th of August for the XE graphics engine. Now Intel has also shared a whole bunch of performance metrics where they compare the standard compute graphics and also the AI performance of its next generation Tiger Lake CPUs. Intel is claiming up to an average of 35% faster performance on standard office applications, up to 4.4x faster creation performance, and up to 76% faster gaming performance, and also enhanced connect capabilities versus AMD Ryzen 4000 Renoir APUs. Now compared to its Gen 11 based Ice Lake CPUs, the Gen 12 based Tiger Lake XE feature up to two times the performance improvements. This is also made possible through certain optimizations that are made purely for Tiger Lake CPUs in the said titles. Now Gears Tactics was recently announced as an Intel partner title with optimizations carried out specifically for the 11th gen Tiger Lake CPUs. The Intel GPUs also utilize VRS which adds some performance. Now something missing on Ice Lake's gen 9.5 graphics chips was that. However CSGO is another outlier with a massive performance jump with FPS over the the 100 frames per second mark versus the Ice Lake CPUs which were unable to deliver a consistent 60 FPS gameplay. Now looking at the overall gaming performance scenario, the Tiger Lake XE GPU delivers playable FPS across most titles at 1080p, which is impressive for an integrated GPU, and I would say the same thing for Renoir when it pulls the same feat. Now Intel also showcases GPU capabilities of its XE graphics engine versus AMD's Ryzen 7 4800U with Vega graphics at 1750 MHz and GeForce MX350 discrete graphics chip with a rated TDP of around 25 to 30 watts. Now the Intel XE GPU consistently outperforms the AMD Ryzen 4800U and even outperforms the GeForce MX350 in several if not all games that were tested. Overall, the Tiger Lake CPUs sound very compelling, and we can't wait to see what the performance and products that make use of the 11th generation CPU family look like when they hit the streets. For more on this and other news, follow the link in the description, and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.